I just wanted to chime in real quick about the Parler situation. Now, I've talked before about how shitty of a website Parler is. It is a right-wing, cheap copy, not even a copy. It's like they try to get all of the options that you find on sites like Twitter, but they didn't implement any of them very well, right? And it even has a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom uh, to move just a couple elements of the page left and right. They've known about it for a long time, but they never fixed it. You know, they didn't fix their notification system either, which is, which is just really shitty. You, you go to it, you see your page of notifications, and you can't tell what they were from. I mean, you can see these people's replies, but you can't get any context for what they, they were. Then when you click back, it takes you back to the top of the page. You also can't right-click any posts that people, oh, what do they call it out? They, they, they don't call it a retweet, obviously, but you know, when people repost other people's content, sometimes I want to look at that person's profile. Well, you can't right-click it and open in a new tab. So you click on their profile. Oh, I see. Then you click back and it takes you back to the top of the list and reloads everything again. It, it's just really shitty layout, shitty setup, shitty programming, shitty coding. But that's not bad enough. They claim to be a free speech website, and yet they ban people for really stupid reasons. Up oh, too much potty humor banned. Too much swearing banned. Uh, if you're crude to a, a right winger, whether it's someone on the site or, you know, some politician who's never going to see it, nope, banned. Um, you know, you, you say things that are too far left, banned. You know, oh, we're the free speech website. Yes, yeah, sure you are. But, you know, they just want their echo chamber. But uh, recently, um, Google dropped them from the Play Store and Apple dropped them from the App Store, which, uh, you know, by itself wouldn't be so bad for them because people can still go to their website. But uh, now Amazon has dropped them you know, they, Amazon has been their web host provider, and they're dropping them as a customer because they didn't censor things. Now, they're saying that it's all about uh, Parler allowing for posts that were planning terroristic acts. Now, I can understand that reason, right? But I think, I think they've been itching to get rid of Parler for a long time simply because they allow for neo-Nazis and far-rightists and alt-writers and just fascists in general to have a platform, right? And they've, they've wanted to get rid of that. And I don't know, it just makes me think about how we tell people, oh, if you don't like the rules or the terms of service on a website, uh, make your own. And then when they try, this happens. But you know, I, I can see the other side do it as well because Parler allowed for for posts that are planning terroristic activity. Now, at the same time, you know, uh, Twitter has allowed people to plan for for violent acts from the left. You know, and I don't think they should allow for that. They they should they should be uh, treating that the same as as uh, people planning you know, uh, violence from the right. It, it should be handled the same, but it's not. So it's kind of weird. Now, I bet if people were planning for violence and it's coming from the left on Parler, yeah, it'd probably be deleted right away. So gotta love biased uh, moderation, right? Be nice if there was a place that people could go that, uh, you know, if someone's posting something illegal, it will be removed. And if someone's posting something that's controversial, whatever, from whatever aside it is, but it's not illegal, then it's allowed. It'd be nice, but we probably won't get that. It's, there's always going to be this biased bullshit going on. So, I don't know. Um, I can see both sides to this. Um, if they hadn't posted things that were planning terroristic activity, I'd say that this is wrong. This is totally wrong, but... Now, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Thanks for watching.